CTs started to make their way back over, three of them in fact as well, so it's going to be flipped with first contact. The smoke is a nice idea, but it's a little bit too late, they've already broken through, it's Fasha that gets dropped first though, Norbert, nice shot from CT spawn, they've got the man advantage and the bomb will be planted momentarily, so still possible for OG to pick this round up, but that's a beautiful grenade as well, you can see how meticulous this team is, everything is so calculated as we get into the retake and as they've got a kit. They do have a kit, and they, they're going to need it as well. It's going to be a minute here before they can actually go for the defuse. Fiku, good shot, but he gets a bit nervous, gets a little bit jittery standing at the corner, walks into Flick, who's going to be able to take the shot, and now just play this one for time. You've still got three people alive. There's Nexa with the kill. Flick gets one more with a headshot, but they're really running the clock down low here. Nexa fighting it out, and they are almost out of time. They tap the bomb once. Mia trying to get a bit close, but he's going to get knocked out as well, and that will be the round, favoring OG. It's well played and what's the end there for Nexa. Triple kill on him. And then we've got Regali just patrolling the perimeter and quad. Oh, they're getting very close. This is so uncomfortable. If one person dies from VP in this first exchange, it's just going to fall apart really fast. But Mia saving his caps in there. Jame almost going down. Double kill for Mia and Norbert. Oh, and a bit of a crossfire, but Regali will take him down. It's Flit to show up next. Some good kills coming in from OG with 25 seconds left. They get near in the pit now. It's just Jame with the AWP. He actually pulls out the USP. He knows someone's tacked there. It's Nexa alone. One versus two. He's got 16 seconds Ooh. left. He does get the headshot. What a peak. He had only half his face around the box, but it's enough to get the shot onto Jame. Now fame left. Oh, and it's the H. He didn't even give it a chance. <laughs> Not exactly a gentleman there, Henry, is he? Oh, that's such a classic VP round. Like, they've just squeezed the life out of you. Everyone's uh, one HP. Everyone's hiding at the back of the bomb site. You can't even get a plant down because every time you try, there's grenades landing on your head. You've just got to run through it. Yeah, this is super devastating, isn't it? Flit's waiting for it, listening for the footsteps. 20 seconds. They're going to try and make their way through. Down to 19. The lineup is oh amazing for Flit. He sprayed three of them down. Picks up the AK for the ace. <laughs> Well, obviously, that's, that is such a that's probably one of the best CT round. rounds we've had like all tournament. Like it was pretty yeah, simple, but uh, in terms of how they executed it, it was just sh such a chef's kiss. Really nice round, and it's going to be full eco here. VP starting to warm up. We've seen an ace in the previous round. Mir is going to have a go at one as well, but Flip will beat him to the bunch. Takes one of the kills away, and uh, two rounds of it. Definitely is a fresh map in that sense. Jame playing, walking towards the middle of the map. He's going to get that kill, no problem. And there's no real chance to retaliate either, unfortunately. Norbert still boosted up. See if that's going to be a surprise. Regali's thinking about peeking the other side. Kido's here as well. They're going to smoke it off. So it looks like Norbert is really going to be put to the test here. Could even be a little bit of a double peek, although they're going one at a time, and he's handling it so well. He's well aware that someone else could be coming there. On the top in the middle. And wall bang, it's a good idea, but Keto not really committing to it. And it's a five versus three. A very convincing one as well. Uh, options quite limited here, and you can see that it's going with a contact play in towards B. Fame will be hearing all of this, though, so he doesn't need to overcommit. If he goes down with nothing, they actually are in a bit of trouble. Uh, OG just made a very good call. They took a gamble. They just uh, went in unannounced towards the B bomb site. It's yielded a plum. It's still a five on three. If Fame gave his life up there, Anders, he actually gives them maybe a fighting chance of winning the round. He's going to wait for his teammates here, and we've got ourselves the opening frag. Uh, he's on the other side of the map. Even with the bomb is planted, he's just looking at what I'm so confused. Next, they're spraying one more down. It's practically a one versus one here with Keto because James is just miles away. He's now getting up to Banana. Walking in here, gonna get the kill on Tamir. He's not quite sure where James is coming from. He's walking up right behind him. Pistols out there. It always James works out. For it. He's got a kill. Where's the, where's the kill? Oh, he's got one. He's got it. It's on oh, there. he's just picked it up on top of it. And is he? I don't know why I you just question don't understand. him. Don't worry about it, because he's probably looking for like a JKS-style flank. Calculated risk, they can walk in towards B, because VP, quite a passive team. Either way, it's going to be another little partial buy here, but they are running the gauntlet towards middle, bombarded with bullets en route, and now just two players remain. VP are looking scary in terms of form. Every individual is looking very, very sharp, and uh, this could be a tough game for OG, let me tell you right now. A calculated risk, Henry, yep. would you say? There's been a few of them this event. Uh, I'm glad to see it. Uh, as long as I don't change their mind, we'll be indecisive. I'm okay. Well, unfortunately, and thankfully, no no players are wearing like a silly costume today. No one's got like a red nose on for Halloween or something. Everyone's being very serious. They also got that memo. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about how much pressure you put on them, or 
how close it is to the end of the round. Like, you're never really putting them out of their comfort zone. And they're individually strong, so as long as they feel good about the whole round, then they're going to be dangerous. Keto, good kill. That's actually pretty impressive. But Flip is going to get even more back, and Regali's made some noise down there. From the pit, he's going to get shot in the back of <laughs> the head You can't even sharp. find them. Like, you, you think no. they're in the bomb site. You think, like, oh, we've got so much territory here. No, there's still, like, a double crossfire going on. Fascia, <laughs> some <laughs> yes. lovely shots, though, but he's still got his work cut out for him. He's got to find the bomb. 30 seconds remaining. Two CTs. I know exactly where he is, where the aforementioned bomb resides and yeah I, I don't think i'll be winning this one but with that smoke down as well of course they found a smoke all you can really do Anders, is walk through it and hope for the best and that's all he's going to do i think yep yeah mm. it's, a, it's a decent attempt what else are you supposed to do really good stuff from norbert and flit at the end of the round there six to two by the way people in the chat are saying that, that you know possible candidates for for dress up would have been kerrigan or dupree i actually it's not, not necessarily bad pitches i think yeah, that attack the bombs in towards the apartments. Flitz will find himself in AK-47, controlling the library. And in just a matter of time before the final play comes through, another beautiful bit of utility there. Just denying the bomb, complete entrance for another seven seconds. Like, how can he even get out? Setting himself up, Norbert. They've know. got a prime crossfire, Anders. Can they break through it? Will they get Norbert in the pit? That's massive. We're down to eight seconds. They still have to get rid of the guy in the bomb site. That's yeah. fame. And they're not even checking it. The bomb is on the ground and the round is lost. As long as James stays away, it can't be planted here. So <laughs> again, Henry, just one more player it's on the so bomb good. site that they're expecting. They here we go. Oh, they got a chance here, maybe. For sure. Taking down Flip. James going to be stepping up. Oh, he takes another bullet. That is... If that's what it takes, Anders. He's seen it. He knows fame, though, with a spray down on just the one. Still, they should have this round. They should. I think they will. Oh, this, the smoke blow, though, is actually quite a bit like a stroke of genius. Like, Regali didn't even consider that. Like, most players won't at this stage of the CS2. That was wild. Um, I think they're going to give up the round. The money's not great. They're, they're up 8 to 2. So it looks like they'll be saving. Um, but still, that was actually pretty sick. You can see they're so rattled by that. They're not sure whether to, like, actually plant the bomb. <laughs> Yeah, they've got. It's really got to be a guy here. Have you checked everywhere? Are you sure you've cleared every position? That's. I mean, who can blame them, right, for double and triple checking that kind of stuff? Mia's still kind of hanging around. I guess he's just hoping for a really quick kill here. His teammate is Norbert is really, really far away, and they're gonna be resmoked. So, yeah, I think he was just looking for maybe another kill just to make it a bit annoying going into the. Oh, it looks quite good, actually, but this boost has come through. Fame does a ton of damage, but unfortunately, unable to find more than one kill. Four versus three. Bomb's still not planted here. You can see that once again, they've been rattled by the ever-present VP players at the back of the bomb site. Norbert found, though, on the flank. And bear in mind, Anders, the way this was looking is actually not a bad half, all things considered. It is going to be eight to four. Unless Mir does something unbelievable here. VQ should confirm the round with that frag. As Flit only has 20 points of health. And uh, we'll see. Bear in mind that uh, OG, after getting four rounds, he could win the pistol, Anders, get the, the couple of conversions. Like, MR12 is quite the deal in this sense. But uh, I still think, like, VP has put on such a good showing there. A couple of rounds go against them. OG individuals step up. Fascia and then Regali finding a... Makes it a bit different. A little bit easier to disengage, obviously, from the fight. There's two people down towards God. What a flash to set it up, but he still has a chance to at least get the one kill, and he will. That's something to work with. They get rid of the wrist. Keto with a couple of good headshots. Fiku losing that fight, but they still have everything, including the bomb. Jame in one versus three, and this defense, it should never fall to, fame, to Jamie. Like, just leave him alone, right? P215 hand. He has to go and pick up the bomb. Just wait it out. Just wait it out indeed, Anders. There's at least time to work with here, but uh, Jame on that P250. It's not out of the, outside the realms of possibility that he can get this win under his belt. It's very unlikely, I'll give you that. But uh, for now, only one kill found. He can find the second. He's going to bait out a bit of a reaction here. He's going to actually run towards the library. He's picked up the bomb as well. Anders, there could be a plant here. If my calculations are correct, and I believe they might be, he's got a plant down here. That means like yeah. that's a bit of a victory in its own right. The fact they've given this... It is. Like, he can just go for a safe plant now. Yeah. They're not even nearby. Oh, Jay. Oh, he's faking it out. That's a little bit too much. Now he's going to go for it, but Fashas right on top of him. He's going to run for it. Yes, he will. Still Bomb got goes up. down, and you're right. Still a bit of a victory, but my God, he could have had more.
Uh, yeah, if he gets the bomb down and goes to safety, I think he actually has a chance of winning it. They probably don't have a kip. And if he just gets one kill on the two versus one, he's a sort of player. Fasha, it's a great grenade, though. There's close to 100 damage there, as uh, we will see them actually make their way in towards us. A nice quick execution here. Will we fashion to get the first? He's done his job, essentially, with two kills. Uh, but can he deny the plant? This force by is actually unraveling at the seams right now. Next, they're rotating in, and that kill had to be his. Otherwise, there was a chance from here. But uh, four versus one, looks like OG have done enough. Uh, they actually weathered the storm of the force by VP. We've got a game on our hands here once again. Mir, and not really much he can do. He kind of has to die, really. He's a lost bonus. I didn't know you could wallbang that so effectively. I was actually doing quite a lot of damage uh, just yeah. from a Tech 9 as well, but it uh, won't be enough. OG finds 2 0 and Brazil. It's a super powerful flashbang. Let's we'll see if he can actually time it well. There it is. Rex, yes, look how blind they are. Source knowledge is coming out and it's working. Fiku and Nexa with a couple of kills here. They're trying to get on the site, but Fasha's still in the corner. Did he get the bomb out running into it? You can't just run it with a bomb did you, to try and plant it. Did you see how unbelievably blind they were? Like, that was yeah. wild. Like, no, you can't turn from it. It doesn't make any noise. It's just so OP. I can see what's about to happen. Regali will fall back. He's in a very awkward spot. They triple stack the B bomb site with all rifles. He's got the AWP on his own. Good leg shot, but he's just overwhelmed. I. Wow, that's, I don't know if it's a wrong decision, but it's a massive risk, especially because he was actually playing on the site with the AWP, so he can't even retreat that much. I guess if he was playing Arch, he could have sort of tried to get a shot, fallen back to the secondary position, and they kept going, but he was all in with his uh, entire life there, and it's not going to work out. It'll be VP winning another round. Never be all in with your entire life. No. Unless it's an absolutely amazing situation, I suppose. I'm not sure I'm like 8-2 or could do it again. Oh, the Molotov at this time. They try and get rid of him. He does throw it out, but he can't really react easily to it. He still gets a shot on the flip. That's not bad. Next is going to go down a return. 19 seconds on the clock here, and they've made their way through. They should maybe be able to get the bomb plant here. Viku's listening in. It's going to look like the default plant. He wants to spray them down on the other side. It's close, oh! close to making it work when he runs out of bullets and Mia will take him down just like that. It's a three on three. That was so close, man. If he takes down the plant and the round's over, it was worth committing to. But unfortunately, after he unloads the clip, gives him the whole nine yards, he will be left in a three versus three. OG on the back foot now. They do have a kit available, a couple of flashes. I'll need one of those from CT Spawn, but they're both in towards the ruined position. Fasha overlooks Mir, and that might be enough here. Bomb is ticking at some pace. Fame is going to cover Spawn in a beautiful manner, and OG are down in the dumps once again, Anders. They are looking at $3,000 if that is back. We'll lead out the grenades, and uh, let's go for two minutes here. And we've got the first interaction towards Banana as Flitz opens things up, but Fasha shutting them down. Four. Four found. I think Fasha just had a deeper angle than maybe anyone was expecting. Oh, what a shot from Mir. He might have missed a bit of a spray in the previous round, but this one was cut clean. He's going to go down to Fiku. So still a two versus three. Not over yet. Look at how hard he's selling this. Throwing the smoke, throwing oh, the yeah, cheese. Oh, yeah, good point, actually. And it's not dead. Throwing the bomb oh, there's the, the smoke as well. So Fasha yeah. can't really justify dying here. He can't run through that smoke to try and deny the plant. It's just not worth it. So he's given up the fact he's there, but now this is where VP do their best work. We all know it. There's another smoke available. Mir jumping at the bit to get him stuck in here, but he's got to fend off Fiku first. Oh, the timing's going to be a little bit rough here. CT coming up quickly towards Banana. Fame waiting towards the back of the new boxes, Anders, as we'll call them for now. But uh, they've got to get their skates on. Oh, there we go, Jame. Oh, Fame, sorry. Trying to go for the swing. There's a headshot from Mir. The spin around. He's nearly got it. Oh, but they're running out of time very, very swiftly. I don't think they have a kit anywhere on the ground. Oh, so, yeah, no. they get the kills, but they can't do anything about it. Oh, oh my no. God. The two versus three. And it goes to VP as they land on map point. Terrorists win. That's... Oh, I'm speechless. It looked like they did so well on the retake. Slow up. Regal, he's got something, but he's not near the action at the moment. It's not going to help them at the moment. Down to the pit, though. Keto, they find the right shot here. Oh, oh the no. screen's not good enough. And Mir just keeps on strafing. Takes him down. Fame with a shot on Fiku. And it's for Sean and Regali <laughs> from the B-bomb side. They found a way in, Henry. It's such a classic VP round. It, sometimes the classics are the best standards. You know, like, it's just... 10 seconds left, one flashbang over, everyone jump out of the apartments, abuse the fact we don't have that railing there anymore, you can enter a lot quicker. Um, and now we've got a four versus two on map point. It looks like they've done more than enough here to confirm this round. What a shot that is from Jane. 
a real showstopper to close things out here, and it will be him to find that final frag as well. 13 to 9. A good resurgence from OG. Don't get me wrong. We actually... I They're going to be so quick to rotate to A if they need to. So there might have just been one player on the A bomb site, but again, Regali is going to be. He's got Keto behind him, and they are waiting for their time. Mir, though, he's the insurance policy. So yeah, they're going to go fight here. Mir shooting in the back already. Oh, it's a great setup for VP. They thought it through all the way. They knew that there could be a quick rotation, and they're ready to catch it as well. The duelies. Oh my god, Flitty runs out of bullets way before Regali does. It's still a one versus one at the end of it. Bomb is lost in the restrooms, and this is getting real awkward now. Oh, what a shot at range with the clock, but he can't find the follow-up. And Fiku, oh, to the jump. I don't believe he's still alive. He's got one health left. He should have been dead. That is a massive risk for a little bit of information. Well, there we have it. Damage and blood has been drawn, but no kill found. Norbert using the silence, actually making his way up towards Shaw, makes a lot of noise. CTs weren't aware until he made himself known, and now the MP9 doing a ton of damage as well. Looks like they've done enough here. Flit's got no idea what's going on, but still manages to find the kill on low HP Biku. Should be traded out here, what? but it's getting a little bit complicated. Nexa, was that required? I'm not so sure. God, they really are challenging absolutely everyone here, Anders. I don't know why. It's really getting out of control. This did not need to be a one versus one. Even if fame is low from earlier, at this range, Regali has to screw up once, and there is a chance. Smoke up on the one side. He's up at heaven. He might just get this one for free. I don't think fame is even looking that way. Oh, is he walked past back down? He might have gone back into the hallways, and he's still going to be winning it for free. Fame overthinking the situation, but it's hard to blame him. I don't think he had any way of knowing where Regali was going to be. Because yeah. people are complaining a lot about the orb in CS2, but what about the scouts? Maybe... Jame is about to show us something that none of us know anything about. Little jump up from Regali. Almost risk free. But he's going to stick around for Fashar as well so that they can keep each other backed up. They're going to go for a bit of a swing here. Oh, nice peek from Fame. And they know that there's a guy back there. They know there's two of them, though. Still going to keep it going. They might overlook Nexa, but the question is how many players can he get to justify these losses? Yeah, there's still a chance here with Nexa in this interesting position. They're not anticipating a second player. And there's a chance They're he catches back. the bomb. No, not quite. Doesn't spot it. 35 seconds. Yeah, you're right. They're rotating the back through T spawn with 30 seconds. And they, I think they know. I think OG heard it. I think Nexa heard them running away. So they're going to have two people on the site. Not a lot of time left here. This is actually a little bit crazy. If they get delayed here, I mean, it is VP, so maybe we shouldn't be too worried about it. But the spray is pretty good for one of them there. Fiku gets another one. We're down to 12 seconds. And they have a lot of Molotov left. See if he can spray him down through. He's not even going to give it a shot here. He's just waiting it out. But my God, that is, again, keeping it really close. VP is a classic round for them, really. 
It really is. It's not over just yet. They haven't guaranteed this by any stretch of the imagination. It's the three on two, sure. Uh, but still, Nexa, Fiku, certainly going to be looking for this one. They find the first kill. Level the playing field out there. Flitz is low as well. He's only got that tech nine. In terms of kits, they've got one. That incendiary, if they just defuse now, they actually they win the round. It's over. Yeah, you have to run into the fire to try and stop this. And then they're going to give it a shot here. So, wow, one grenade to actually get it done. Especially Flit couldn't run through that one. He was at 23. Uh, the competition by typing in skins into the chat, get more information. Good flash, but Flash Up is the one taken down. It's James to find him. Opening frags once again in favor of VP. They've looked red hot tonight. It's been a difficult start here, but this one looks like it's in the bag. In a way, it's been a difficult start, but in another way, they've got so many kills in some of these rounds that the money is just blown up for OG. That's a really so good point. If... They'll get $1,400 next, OG, that is, right? So they kind yeah. of have to save these M4s. Like They can't even think about going for this round. If Nexa goes down with nothing, if it's like a clean sweep round, like they're in a lot of trouble. They will have no money. They'll have to force buy into the next round because otherwise they'll just be double eco. Um, yeah, this is actually looking promising for Regali, though. He's found a gap. It's something. Well, the rest of VP going to shy away from him, lead towards Nexa. It's a five on two this round. Good flash to set it up. Nexa, not going to be able to get the spray down here. Regali, I mean, oh, wow. He's going to get into the high ground position. He's got four teammates down here. This could actually be really bad for VP. His grenade use is, is amazing. Keto gets one. Fame trying to get the spray on through. The recommit here, and he will get the job done. So... That's a great clear of the bomb site before Fasher really shows up and he's going to get down by the orb. So that's a shame. There was a lot more promise in that round. Bomb is back in T-spawn. Nobody's surprised. It is VP that we're watching. Yeah, it's a good point. It will be Norbert to recover it. And for now, making progress up towards long. Flashing the bathrooms. Decent flash. Better shots. Oh my God. Yeah mechanics on some of these VP players definitely something to look for some of those players they always have been on VP that kind of, I feel like they just get lost in any conversation about yeah you know potentially strong players because yeah. you know you don't see them nearly as much but you can just forget about them a little bit but they are really good very good indeed. It's going to be a B finish, Anders, taking advantage of the fact they've already found that opening frag. Numbers will be thin, and it is going to be the B bomb site. It's under a lot of scrutiny now. The round's already over. It's going to be four in a row for V. Such a weird position. Good little showing of the gun barrel nearly there for Flitz. He knows there's the orbit in place. Keto, going to get one, but he's traded, and that's fine. If you're a VP, you don't mind this trade. They have a lot more money in the bank. Every single rifle they can get away here from the CT side. It's going to be so worth it. A little bit of a run out here. Hopefully nobody peeks it on the OG side. They might get swung on from the other side, though. Better be careful. There's an oh, attempt in Mia. Massive. That's Regali down. That's the orb on the ground. No. Next is next. They find him as well, Henry. Oh, my God. Oh, they could have force board into this. They saved the orb. Well, that is uh, going to spice things up a little bit. They're just praising VP for how good they are cleaning out those common positions with grenades and you know, not walking into anything crazy. Jame. Probably had an opportunity there, but the shot didn't even really land on Fiku. Fame's going to be taking down Regali in the meantime. A jump for information. I don't think he's seen that player in Fasha who's playing over by the tree. So it's still a four on three now. They lost James and Mia. Oh, Nexa. Continuing to pro. Finds Flit. Gets a lot more than he bargained for. Probably regretting that decision now. As it goes back to a three versus three. Norbert's trying to surf up some of the angles here. And God, Flit, you can see why he's in championship form right now. Number one in the tournament in terms of statistics. And yeah, you can see why. Beautiful, beautiful shots. Three versus two. Able... I mean, we are playing online Counter-Strike, Henry. And he's, he's just running straight into a stop for the headshot. It's instant. Norbert should be lining up a double, but he doesn't. Still gets the information. Doesn't even matter. The bomb is dropped with 40 seconds left. Oh, man. VP, they're losing some of these rounds that you're just not expecting them to. Yeah, just when you think they're the done, it's a done deal, uh, everything starts to collapse. That's wild. At least OG, they've, they've come to play here. Looking for a third map if possible. The Ancients and might be required at this stage as OG... Nature in this game. On the first map and continuing to the second one. Scary work that he's putting in. Fiku finding himself 
without any backup in the B bomb side. And he's going to be tested a lot quicker than he'd want to. They're actually throwing flashbangs from the A bomb side down onto the side to try and get it. And regardless, that works. That's a flash from the A bomb side that's thrown down oh, basically outside of the map, over the side of the bridge to get that one. Fiku is still hiding. But if only for a second, he's going to go down. Four versus three to ensue. And a bit of a line up here. Mia just pushing for the smoke. It's dangerous. This one, again, it should be VP winning it. Should be. But uh, if history repeats itself, there's every chance to give it away. Final round. There'll be no saving here, Anders. And it looks like Mia is going to confirm absolutely everything. There'll be no chance. Even if Keita got a triple kill right now, it wouldn't be time to defuse as uh, there we go, seven to five. Uh, at least they get the last round. There's been a few times they've had massive advantages and I don't think it was really down to mistakes. It was more down to OG just making remarkable calls, hitting their shots, uh, shots you wouldn't. We'll see if it works out for them. They're going for that bar from control. A split looking very likely now and it will be Jane with first contact. I can't believe, Henry, you've mentioned Bob. Oh God, you're Jane. right. That was... Um... <laughs> yes, you know, it's not very sensitive of you, Henry, you know. A lot of people... Still morning. Flit going to be going down for Shark getting that one. Oh, and they found out fame. Yeah, they know where he is exactly. Going to try and see if he can get one more kill. It oh my god, it's so crisp. He gets another one. How are they able to do it? Fame and Flit right now are just off the charts when it comes to these battles. I just, I normally he's just kind of ready and waiting. I guess he is now once again. Doesn't quite get the shot. There's three people here. 30 seconds. Smoke goes up to try and slow them down. Almost has to play in front of it here, Mir. Gonna be hiding right at the edge. MP9 in hand, and we'll get the spray down to the first. It's Flit to carry on over. Oh, it's oh. panic. They're all getting slaughtered, Henry. The defense holds between the M4 and the MP9. It's by the playground and birthday party area. They're gonna be sort of pushing that out a little bit. Oh, bombs have been picked up. Okay, it looks like they've changed their minds. They're actually all gonna vacate that front of B position and start to head over to the A-bomb side. We've got about 40 seconds left, so at some point soon, OG will have to make up their minds. There's still two smokes, two Molotovs, two HEs left here on the VP team. Uh, VP are reading this though, Anders. You can see they've completely rotated a player over. They can feel that execution coming and it's gonna be Jame opening things up. Another beautiful bit of utility, the incendiary. This buys so much time for the rotations and he's nailed the second shot as well. He's got players all around him now. They know exactly what's going on. It looks like a very comfortable finish and it's just Jame. Just absolutely dominating them. Regali answering back, showing he's got a bit of that flair. Maybe he can get the third as well. A bit of a show. He keeps it expensive, Anders, at the very least. I enjoyed that from Regali, but the round the worst case, but it's never required as everyone's just so tuned in right now. Here we go. We've got a bit of a B rush, and it's going to be awkward. But the CT's doing a decent job. There's a team kill in the mix. I was about to say, it looks like three kills for the T side, but Regali took down Fiku, unfortunately, and now we just got next. I say just. He's had some very impressive rounds. He's won. A one versus three here today on the pistol, but that grenade might seal his fate as fame will swing around. Just one more round to do it. VP have given away nothing here on their CT side of overpass and showing us why they're the absolute favorites in this series. It's 6 0 on their CT campaign. Oh, there's still three people at the people. Oh, side. no. How are they reading it? How do they know, Henry? Oh, dear. Oh, this is sick. The Molotov is down, slows them up, but they're still getting excellent kills to bring it through. All right. In spite of the stack and in spite of the grenades, it's OG to power on through. I feel like they deserve that. Has a lot attached to it. A high pressure situation. The time is ticking at some pace as well. It's going to be a B finish. Flashbang's coming through. Flash has lead the way. He's been great on the openers and it will be flipped to find the first kill. Backup's being called for. It's Norbert just with a sewing machine picking off Nexa. Four versus three. A little bit of a wild spray, but it's not good enough there. Fico goes down. And oh, they've locked Regali. it in. Regali can't pick up the bomb. Now he's too far away. It's going to be 12 for VP. I did like the timing a little bit. With I, I, I really do like the three-man push through the L-Bend. It's what they did last time in the previous round, and it worked. But this time, VP were ready. Has a nice opening kill. No response. CT's now in a lot of trouble. Almost giving himself up for the next one there. Lit. He's been rock solid, and Fashad just walking, and he's not even checking it. Fame's gonna get one more. I really feel like between Flit and Fame, they, they're just hitting so unbelievably hard. I guess I'm discounting all the work that Mia's put into this game right here, but still, four versus three, just like that. And it looked like some of those deaths were without much of a plan, really. Just OG falling over. Well, yeah, they, they 
kind of thought they had enough attention towards short. There was spams coming through that area. They already found a pick. They were just hoping that Monster would be overlooked. Oh, but Rogali, if he hits that shot, maybe he saves the day. It's a narrow miss. And Flitz still has full control of Monster and is more than willing to take some fights here as well. AK in hand looking unbelievably sharp. Bomb on the back of Nexa, the in-game leader. And Regali's made the call. Let me try and pick Jame. Maybe I can get some distraction this side of the map. But they're it's running out of time. To. Yeah, so he's got the smoke down towards CT. Could be enough here. They've actually pulled some rotations, but they've got to get past the big man. Flit now knows he's under a bit of scrutiny. Just needs to stay alive. Flashbang's coming in. Avoids them well. Yeah, couple shots going out. Only 10 seconds left on the clock here, but they will find the kill. Go straight for the bomb plant. And the rotation was happening towards the A side of the map, so... A little bit of a find here, perhaps. Mir, oh, he's not quite good for it. He's been the star of Overpass so yeah, far, but save. that's it. They won't have any oh money God. otherwise. So they're going to have to save these two weapons. I didn't think they stood a chance. It comes back to a four versus three. They managed to find Flit, though, at the back. And as soon as he goes down, it looks like they were out of luck there, especially when Mir couldn't find that shot. He had all the advantages in the world. He spots out next towards, I think, his feet. Grenades towards the barrels. No one there to receive. It's actually towards that pillar position, so could have been deadly. Good flashbang. Norbert absolutely taken down once again. It's fashion to open things up. I find him. Good. Molotov makes it a very hard fight for Kido. He has to sort of decide, am I fighting or am I, you know, trying to run for the Molotov? And he did a little bit of something in between and ended up going down. Nexa on a mission. Again, James jumping a lot back here. I'm still not used to really seeing that. He's got the C set 75, just trying to look for information. Don't think he spotted Nexa yet, so the next jump could be absolutely fatal if he does it again. Nexa might just pick him up mid-air. He's getting close now. Oh, but it's been spotted. C set 75 up close and he does nothing. Oh no. Just caught looking both ways. And he's gonna get shot down. Save that again, should I think. be the bomb plant. Yeah, yeah I think they're gonna call Oh my. It's gonna come right down to round number 24 here. James didn't invest much. He's got the CZ. Um, I think that was by design. You can see Fame can drop the... Early Molotov down to try and slow them. Look at Kido. He wants to go. He wants to find the entry. Could he actually do it? Dead. Still jumping on the other side. Oh, he's all in. He gets the headshot. People following him through that one. They're very, very low, though. Norbert putting it into play. We've been criticizing him. That's three kills, Henry. They might avoid the overtime oh, if they can keep their cool here. Lord. Just when it looked like they had nothing left. It was going to overtime. It's three kills from Norbert with the MP9 here. It comes to a bit of a standstill. Flash has been great at finding these kills on the B-bomb side, but he's beat it to the punch. It's a three versus one. Regali, he's got nothing left to do here. Not known to be a rifler. 11 kills to his name, and it's going to be just the smoke. A molly, a flashbang, and now taken down. It went the distance. They had them on the ropes. It looked like overtime was a possibility, Anders, but still, Verdis Pro, hang on, by virtue of an MP9 spray down courtesy of Mr. Norbert himself.